Hello everybody, I'm Nistorm here. Welcome back to Pacific Theater of Operations. In the last episode, the battle for Marcus continues. Well, the port itself fell, and the 4th Fleet is falling back home. But the 3rd Fleet and the 6th Fleet have arrived at the base and have begun attacking it, even though they don't have any troops, so they can't actually retake the base. But the purpose of our attacks right now is to destroy the enemy ships that are there. And we were able to actually sink all of the ships in the smaller of the two fleets that attacked Marcus. And we launched an attack on the uh, the big main fleet that was there. Did significant amounts of damage. Then we sunk three of their carriers. I can't remember. We did lose a carrier of our own, the Shokaku. So, um... There's that. So that's being rebuilt. Ten months is what it is. And so we're going to continue launching attacks. Once we have eliminated the ships, we're going to send a fleet back to pick up some troops. And then we are going to send them in. Particularly these troops that are sitting here in truck that are ready to go. So. Or Chuck. So let's go ahead and keep resting and see how things go. Oh yeah, that's the last ship that was left from that fleet. Done. We launched an attack at four in the morning. Yes. We have significant advantages attacking at night. So, it is good that we are attacking at night. And the Idaho has been sunk. So we kind of a couple of really big torpedo hits on their battleships. Right at the end of the last battle. Unfortunately, it looks like all of our aircraft carriers are going to get out of this. That's good. No, we sunk all their aircraft carriers because we're not actually firing at any carriers. One battalion lost. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take it. And the Washington has been sunk. Colorado. She's got a lot of armor. I think it was the Hie that took a bit of a beating, so it's good that she is not anywhere close. The problem is most of our cruisers are not in good position. Actually, if I were in control of this, I would be backing off and firing from range rather than getting right up in their face. Because we have radar, they don't. New Mexico's on fire. Big hit on New Mexico. Houston's been hit by torpedoes. Colorado's been hit. Not getting any good damage there. Failed to put the fire out. Ooh, Congo got hit by torpedoes. She's on fire. Ooh. 
Ooh, I don't like that there's a bunch. Ooh, that was a big hit. That's not great. Fire I got put out. Colorado took a bad hit. She's on fire. Okay, no hits from the torpedoes. New Mexico's hit, armor's down to 24. It's a pretty big hit. 22. 21. Yeah, good. Congo, move. Good torpedo hit. Armor's down to seven on the Colorado. Colorado's hit. She's on fire. Destroyed a battalion. Colorado's hit. Armor's on the five. She's on fire again. And Colorado's been sunk. Beautiful. Now I gotta start working over New Mexico. Ooh, armor's down to seven. Armor's down to three. Armor's down to two. And New Mexico sunk because she couldn't put out her fires. Ah, oh, beautiful. That means all their battleships are done. That means our battleships are going to start lighting up their cruisers, hopefully. So we've sunk all the carriers and all the battleships. I think they're running. Yep, they're definitely running. Indianapolis is on fire. Houston is sunk.
Chester withdrew. Indianapolis got her fire put out. Armor is down to two. She's on fire. And uh, Indianapolis has been sunk. There's a couple of ships still sitting there that are uh, not... They don't want to engage, but they don't want to run for the border either. Louisville. We only have one turn left. Big hit on the Louisville. Didn't sink her though. Alpha Buki got hit. Fire. Congo took a took a bit of a hit there. All right. We're gonna order the third fleet back home. No, we're gonna keep them there until those ships are gone. And then we'll order those fleets back to their respective ports to uh, pick up troops and resume operations. have any more uh, materials uh, so we can't really build any more warships ships under repair nine months left on those ships anything new coming out next month No. The thing is, like anything new that comes out, we're going to send it right back in for repairs, for overhaul. So it doesn't really matter. Unless it's something that I actually built already. Like those subs. Those are ones I think I queued in. The Oi and Kitakami are there. Tenryu, Tsuta. I think those are ships I built. I can check because if they have radars than their ones I built. So. Okay, we still have diplomacy going. I can't raise skill, can't produce arms, can't do any sort of industrial development. Setting goals kind of not necessary. So base policy, let's just check. Make sure that everybody's good. Tainan could use some uh, some tweaking. And destin operations in Peking. Fuel supplies are sabotaged. All 
Alright, we're attacking during the day. Let's see what those ships are going to want to do. Are they actually going to attack, or are they going to try and retreat? Oh, they're trying to attack the Akagi. Chester's been hit on fire. Louisville's been hit. Chester is sunk. Cause they got hit. I really don't want to lose the Akagi. We counterattack, we shot down five planes. That means they no longer have planes up and our ships can get out. Our carriers can get out. We need some big hits on the Louisville. Armor's down to two. All right, we knocked out a battalion. All right, all the torpedoes on the Akagi missed. All right, they can't retreat when their ship's right next to them. Alright, Louisville's been hit. She's sunk. It's down to just the destroyers. And the Akagi just got sunk. Ah, crap. That's not a great trade. I mean, it's not a terrible trade. Six enemy fleet carriers. Six enemy battleships. At least as many cruisers and destroyers for two of our fleet carriers. And we knocked out those troops. We're gonna have to wait till next month to get that other carrier rebuilt, to get the Akagi rebuilt. Porter's been sunk. All right. Destroyer couldn't put out the fire. And the Patterson is sunk. And the number one fleet was demolished. I figured that was the number one fleet. to get this fleet some repairs, but...
We need them to do some work first. Destroyed a battalion. Dude, there's also a lot of planes on those carriers. Italian lost. One battalion lost. Italian lost. Our fighters are doing most of the work here. One battalion lost. Troops destroyed. Excellent. Armaments destroyed. Probably gonna launch another battle. Yep. At night in the fog. Well, the most that we're gonna do here is knock out a few battalions of troops. So I'm probably just gonna pause it for this fight. I'll be back once we're close to done. All right. So we actually ended up destroying all of the troops that they had on the field. I think it was like seven or eight battalions. I'll take that. And the fourth fleet has arrived back home. Lay is under bombardment. Sarong is being shelled. Lao is being shelled. All right. Order fleets. Third fleet, duty, port call back at Palau. The sixth fleet, duty, port call back at Chuck. How badly damaged are we? Um, the Hiei's engine is pretty badly beat up. Uh, she's only at a max speed of 17 knots. Armor could do some work. Congo, same deal. The cruisers are in generally good shape. Did I lose a destroyer? I have one, two... Th oh, no, no, no. We left a destroyer back in Chuck. Right. Cruisers are okay. The battleships are beat up. 
And that's what they're there for. Alright. Can we get those guys out of there? And, uh... Oh, and one other thing I forgot that we actually did is we killed one of their commanders. So, that's included in the trade calculations. So, two fleet carriers in exchange for six fleet carriers, six battleships. I would say six cruisers and six destroyers and a commander. I mean, I guess if you put it that way, it's not a bad trade. Even with the limited resources that Japan has. All right. I'll tag it. All right. Order. No, fix. Urgent repair. You need it. You need it. You need it. No, you don't need it. Everybody else is okay. Hmm. All right. Get their hulls reinforced. All right, the fifth fleet has arrived at Palau. Our technology request with Germany was rejected. Saigon's being shelled. Rabal's under bombardment. Um. Sarong, how is Sarong looking? Barely has any fighters. All right, well, I think we're gonna need to send a fleet to Sarong. It's five days. Still, it was got to hold out being bombed by somebody. Hello, we're okay. Yeah, they really want to retake Sarong. Uh, request technology from Germany again. Come on, Germany. Alright. Change of plans. Depart the 5th Fleet. Have them port call in Sarong. Match the fleet. Enemy submarine detected by the 6th Fleet. He's 5th Fleet, what are you doing? I do not know how they implemented pathfinding, but... Yeesh. All right, not much I can do right now with the um, main fleet. Primary base. Airplanes were sabotaged at Sarong. Last thing in the world that Sarong needs to have damaged is aircraft. Singapore's on a bombardment. 
All right. Information report join. We'll go ahead and take all those destroyers. Doesn't matter. Range, range report, discharge. The fourth fleet. What do we have in reserve? We just have the one destroyer in reserve. Okay. Nine months left. Okay. Yep, we're pretty much at a point where we just don't have much to do right now. All right, fifth fleet arrived at Sarong. I always short some fuel. Don't know. All right, let's get you guys supplied up. My pants under bombardment. All right. All right. Well, we're just going to continue to wait while our fleets get back. We're going to get them rearranged, resupplied. The third fleet is going to have to actually fully supply. The fourth fleet just has to recombine with the existing, with that one separate fleet. Um... And then they can immediately, well, refuel, and then immediately head out um, to attack Marcus and retake it. Then we'll see what happens. But for now, we'll go ahead and stop here for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.